Hey guys, this is the Midwest in its glory in uh, January. It's actually not too cold, but I'm in Indiana. I've come to see my uh, home or bus. Okay, so let's do something different this time. We're going to cover my bus build, my coach build, and initially, as shown on the screen now, we're showing how it was. I've owned this coach since 2012. It was already built when I bought it, and it wasn't a bad job. You can see here the stairs. It wasn't a bad job at all. Just different. Yeah, so you can see the seats were changed. The steering wheel, dash, which is pretty rudimentary. I do need to do some modifications to the dashboard, but all in good time. And then the seats are cloth, and they are captain's chairs, so they rotate round. They're pretty dainty, and, and therein lies a clue, because I replaced these, as you'll see, with these big units. This is the kitchen unit, or was the kitchen unit, and it's made of a pretty substantial maple wood. Um, maple's pretty strong as a wood, it's, 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 it's about as strong as oak. It's, it's, it's not, yeah, it's medium, I'd say, medium to hard. Um, you got the little thin corridor, characteristic of a coach with no slides, refrigerator, I've actually gone for a bigger refrigerator. And there's the bedroom. The bedroom is not that different now, I haven't changed it much, I've kept the maple wood cabinetry in there. And then here you see another view of the captain's chairs, you've got the sofa, which is a bit dilapidated. Um, and then what we're seeing now is the beginning of the design of my new build. I replaced the dinette with a desk, a work desk, and it has a leaf that comes out. You can see it getting designed here, getting designed. Um, a leaf that comes out, and it's a, a, again, it's a pretty substantial build. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to get away from the heavy wood look that you have in so many RVs. Um, I wanted to go for something more. But you'll see. <laughs> you can see the desks are being built up here, uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, the desk on the left, which is lower in height, and then on the right we have the kitchen unit, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the CAD rendering of the desk, and you can see it uses granite. A granite top. I don't regret my decision to use granite because it makes it substantial the weight doesn't concern me because this coach used to have 40 passengers 30 to 40 passengers of basically bags of heavy water which it doesn't carry anymore so here you can see the gloss black or piano black desk and kitchen unit being built up with the granite top the only thing I didn't anticipate with the granite top on the kitchen unit is if you look at the sink well, we'll get to it in a second the sink has a, a cover which is made of the granite and it weighs a ton I mean it's not a big deal but when you have to lift it off to use the sink then it, it becomes a bit of a big deal so there you have it um, yeah other views of the desk a uh, nice big unit with the leaf that comes out um, you will see some detail on the leaf cooktop um, expensive looking, <laughs> it is an expensive um, tap, um, excuse the dust, but yeah, there you can see the kitchen unit, um, no oven at the moment, 
this is the leaf. This is a, a sketch I did of the leaf and the pattern I wanted. Like, I figured we, we couldn't go fully granite because it, it comes out and it would be too heavy. So we put granite inserts in there into the piano black wood, heavy, glossy piano black wood. So, yeah. And then here you can see the leaf, which actually comes out. So you have this kind of desk that comes around you. Um, what we have now here is the storage units that were designed, uh, made of aluminium. Here yeah, you see them getting built. Um, and these storage units, I, I needed a lot vastly more storage because the, the bus build before was done kind of as a fair days type of thing. My, my intention is full timing, or at least spending a lot of time in it. So I need, I need vastly more storage. I didn't want to go for the wood thing again. And if you remember the wood storage before was like two cabinets, two, two units, and they jutted out, they weren't flowing. What I've gone for here is a curved look, and it also blends into the natural curve in the other plane, in the other direction, of the bus itself. So that was the aluminium cabinetry. cabinetry. This is an idea I came up with. I wanted, I wanted infinity mirrors because um, I, want, I wanted lighting and, and infinity mirrors. Um, so the lighting are swivel or pivotable little lights, as you can see. And then the infinity mirrors, uh, well, pretty self-evident. They, they actually change color. The initial ones didn't, and then I, I changed it so it could change color. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way they they really add a nice character feature to the ceiling of the of the um, coach. Um, the aperture in the middle is for the AC unit. Um, blends in quite nicely, I think. Um, I have changed the AC unit uh, to a smaller one, but that's by the by. I have aped the infinity mirror to a round one, a small one for the bedroom, as you can see here. And here you see it with the blue light and the actual finished suede fabric um, for the ceiling. So. Again, I've kept the maple wood. Um, and then here you can see just a, a shot. The cabinetry, the kitchen units, and the aluminium cabinetry, and the, and, the, and the kitchen, sorry, the desk. And the infinity mirror again. So there you go. Lighting. So I mentioned the light, the swivel or pivotable lighting. Um, we couldn't go track lighting because it was overhanging and it, the ceiling's low enough. Didn't want to hit my head. So yeah, we went for little pivotable lamp units. So, and I think there are eight of them in total. Change of colour, blue. But yeah, uh, I'm, the the coach before wasn't badly done. It obviously wasn't done. By someone who's, who's experienced building RVs, but it was done pretty well. The maple wood was strong, but it was very workaday. I think I've added a different flavour to it. Now what we're seeing is the seat units. I replaced those captain's chairs of a cloth with this ultra leather the sofa, the captain's chairs, and an easy chair. Um, the easy chair. I'm gonna it actually butts up against the, the new desk, which and the granite top overhang so my intention is to use my oculus and gaming stuff on the easy chair and then fall asleep if I want to um, some of the challenges are that the swivel the, the chairs the footprint is so big that, that they have trouble um, swiveling round uh, but that's something I just have to live with I guess can't swivel around the driver's seat or the other seats as they hit, you know, and I've got no slide outs in this, so yeah, not fond of leaking water at all, yeah <laughs> um, the colour is Chiante, which is actually a, a flashy way of just basically saying burgundy with, I went for black inlays just to give it a bit, the black goes with the Chiano black, and I wanted to add some colour because black and aluminium silver 
is kind of cold and I think the colour I've added is this burgundy Chianti and you see the theme in the carpets which is kind of reddish and then you see the blinds that were also burgundy so yeah the trick is if you want to go black and silver but you want to add warmth to add some ac- some kind of coloured accent I guess so that's what, I, that's what I was going for so that is it here you see the seats the cabinetry um the kitchen units and the desk and then the rear of the coach's room is not really that different obviously the carpeting is black red and gray that carpet was actually a rug in my old in my old house before i sold it and i was so taken by it i thought wouldn't it be cool to have it so that, these are just some final shots um, in the evening because I've been living in it, uh, kind of cosy shots. And that really pretty much is it. It's a summary of bringing you up to date where we pretty much are now. We're about 95% done. Thanks for watching. And all I want to say is live fast, live well, live free. Thank you.